I'm here to do a reading for my beautiful Aquarius. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, all my new subscribers, welcome. If you haven't already hit that bell button, hit that bell button at the bottom so you can get a notification each time I upload. So we have, it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. I'm staying the seven of pentacles in my third eye. So it was, it's, it's, okay. So spirit is saying it's safe to invest, okay, in a love situation. Give me more Holy Spirit. What is this energy? Attraction. But somebody is very much attracted to you. I did say I'm seeing the seven of pentacles in my third eye. So somebody feels safe. Like it's okay to invest in this connection with you, open their heart up to you. You know, um, give you the you know, give you the highest energy of all, give you their highest self. Like, let's see. Give me more Holy Spirit. One more, one more. Yeah, free yourself. So somebody could have taken you for granted. With the seven of pentacles I'm seeing in my third eye, maybe somebody didn't invest in you, okay? Somebody um, is very much attracted to you. Um, somebody could be feeling like you just enjoying, you, you know, you enjoying your um, your energy. You, you enjoying yourself at this time. Somebody could feel like you're happy, you're living life, you have freed yourself. Would it safe for you to love? Um, like I said, with the seven of pentacles, I'm seeing somebody could have wished that they would have invested in you. We have honeymoon at the bottom. Enjoy the bliss of holiday times together. So somebody could be reminiscing about the holidays or just how life will be with you since you have freed yourself. Maybe somebody felt like somebody was wasting their time, they was lying to them. Somebody could have took this someone for granted, even had someone crying. And they could have decided to free themselves. This unicorn is staring, um, standing out to me. Something about you is very unique. It's very different. Somebody could be realizing that. Give me a card on this safe to love. It's safe for you to love. Thank you. I don't want to be, I'm sorry. I don't want you to be celibate anymore or unmarried. <laughs> Sussies. Now, this is for the collective who is who is currently celibate or been celibate, you know, for a while now. Or someone, you know, for the collective who is unmarried. Somebody is saying, I don't want you to be celibate anymore. I, or unmarried. Okay? So that was clarified by it's safe to it's safe for you to love. Somebody feels like it's safe to love you. They find you very attractive, very beautiful. Okay? Somebody feels like they want to give you the highest energy of all, their higher self. Yes. Mm. Okay. Now, so this person could have it says someone they're attached to don't have good intentions for them. Very dark. Be careful of the negative energy around them. So this is for the ones who you felt like everything was fine with you and your person. Um, and then, you know, things just happen out of nowhere. You felt like you guys were going through disagreements, you know, things seem challenging. Um, you know, this person could have ghost you out of nowhere, or you, you could have felt like, um, you know, you guys was going through a lot of differences. Because a lot of people, this person didn't ghost you, just that you guys were just on two different pages. That's how you felt like you guys wasn't on the same page anymore. And it was possibly could be because they were, whoever they was attached to or was in a, in a circle, someone has dark intentions, um, towards this connection, um, and it was causing friction. So scary, um, definitely uh, give me the temperance. Your, um, your angels could have, you know, um, protected you and removed you from the situation, okay? Because of whoever this person was attached to. And that could have been a reason why you freed yourself. Yeah, because a situation needed balance. Yeah, somebody could have possibly been doing love spells, okay? Yeah. Somebody could have been doing love spells to keep um, to keep your person attached to them, or you know keep this person you know just just wanting them and not and, and not seeing you for who you are, you know. So somebody could have knew that this person was in love with you, was attracted to you, and and they didn't like that. So if this person was being you know 
just somebody being very attracted to you and seeing that it's safe to love you, it's, it's okay to invest in you. Somebody could have been doing love spells to get this person to see you like a whole different way. And you like, where this come from? Like, everything was on the up and the up. Yeah, but somebody was trying to, you know, distort this person's um, vision, the way how they see you. What's the attraction? Somebody's seeing that this relationship had the potential of getting higher, like going higher and higher. But somebody felt it and they saw that you was the one. This is somebody who didn't listen to the intuition it's giving me. What's the attraction? Attraction, I just seen 744. What's the attraction? Somebody felt like you guys were getting closer and closer. They seen something going higher and higher and somebody in their energy, you know, didn't like that. Friends, this could be a friend of theirs, friend of yours. Or somebody can have a jealous friend who just doesn't want to see you happy. What's the attraction of friends? Or this could have been somebody who, you know, this could be a friend of yours that's attracted to you. 911. Oh, child. Yeah. So this was definitely a karmic ass. This was a karmic friend of theirs. A karmic friend of theirs or a karmic friend of yours. But somebody don't want to see someone happy. Okay? Just giving the energy of like, you know, things on the up and the up. Everything is going good. Somebody gossiping and sharing the good news with their friend, not knowing that this friend is a karmic. They should be aware of this friend with the 911 and friends. This friend doesn't want to see them happy. This friend doesn't want to, um, you know, see them getting closer to their dreams as far as like when it comes to commitment, relationships, you know? Yeah, whoever you are, you have honor. Yeah, but because they see you by yourself, they think you alone. But your angels was actually protecting you. So somebody thought they sabotaged the connection for you. They didn't do anything. Your angel just, you know, just guided you and separated you from this energy. Why they handle everything else. That's it. That's all they did. Yeah, aunt. And jealous of your light. So there could be an aunt, of, you know, jealous of somebody's light. It could be also a co-worker that's jealous of somebody's light. But whoever this friend is, um... Somebody could have been being warned about this friend. This friend is very jealous. Okay, cut this person off. It says someone, someone they're attached to don't have good intentions for them. They're very dark. Be careful of the negative energy around them. You could even possibly want this person like that friend of yours. That ain't your friend. That ain't your friend. And they didn't listen. They didn't remove themselves from this person. They didn't separate themselves from this person who had this, you know, these, 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 um, you know, this bad, this bad energy around them. What's the free yourself? There was a friend that was very sneaky. Cause I heard earlier, before I started reading the truth, somebody's gonna get you, something about the truth. So somebody is finding out the truth. Thank you, spirit. Free yourself. Yeah, sweetheart. <laughs> You're a sweetheart. You're a sweetheart. Something about your creative style. That's why I said this unicorn is sticking out to me. You're very different. You're very unique. Okay. Something is very different about you, okay? Creative style. Somebody has a friend that's just jealous of you. You're a sweetheart. They're jealous of your style. I know that you're... Damn. And daddy's home. <laughs> so somebody is coming back. They like, hold up. It is safe to invest in, you know, this connection. I'm, but somebody could be waking up that, you know, there's a jealous friend or karmic that don't want to see them with this sweetheart. Yeah, I can't make it up. Angelic help. Guardian angel. Your guardian angel freed you from this situation, okay? You could, like I said, you could have passed through and tried to warn someone about, you know, the, the negative energy around them, and they didn't want to listen. Yeah, you assume me someone high vibing like yourself. Your path is clear, family member. Yeah, but something about your style is very creative. I'm hearing, wow, I'm hearing being connected to you is a game changer. Mm. Yeah. I'm hearing being connected to you. Let me light this sage again. Cause this 911 sticking out. I'm hearing being connected to you is a game changer. It's like somebody wants you to be alone. Like somebody, somebody don't want you to be happy. Or see this person happy. Let's see. Let's tap into the energy.
Let's go to the safety of the love. Let's go to the safety of the love. Stay free to the love. Someone there touched. Stay free to the love. Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Queen of Swords. There can be someone who's very bitter. Okay? Possibly someone who he was, you know, in a connection with before. Or someone, um could be very bitter and don't want to see you get happiness, you be happy, see this person be happy, page of swords, somebody could be gossiping, you know, if this three of pentacles, page of swords, could be a group of people gossiping, okay, you know, lying on you, just spreading false rumors, it's safe for you to love, it's safe for you to love, it's safe for you to love, thank you, king of swords, Somebody has seen the truth. I told you when I first started the reading, I heard truth. That's the only thing, you know, my guys stuck out to me when I started the reading. So there is some type of truth that this person is seeing that it is safe for them to love you. It's safe for them to invest in this connection. And with the four cups being here, this could be something that they didn't do before. And now, you know, they're unhappy. But with the will of fortune being here, something is changing. High priestess, okay? High priest. I told you I seen the seven of pentacles in my third eye. Somebody is now listening to the intuition. They feel like it's safe for them to love you. It's, it's safe for them to invest in this connection. Yes, yeah, the temperance. The temperance to the ten of pentacles. I can't make it up. <laughs> I cannot make this up. Angelic help, guardian angels and angels. Temperance to the ten of pentacles. I heard being in your energy is a game changer. Like being with you is a game changer. The temperance to the ten of pentacles. You, yo, your angels freed you from this situation. Yeah, six of pentacles, nine of pentacles, because yo, your angels, they already knew that being with you was a game changer. And with the knight of pentacles to the six of pentacles, this person was slow to give. They were slow to invest. So yeah, your, your angel was like, nah, free it though. Okay? Yeah, the, um, I heard, I was just gonna say the friend. The three cups and the two of cups. Somebody regret listening to a friend about a soulmate connection with someone because it actually made them very happy. But because they didn't listen to the intuition, they feel like the cycle has closed out. Yeah, because of some type of action that they didn't do in the past. Six of, cup, um, six of cups, two of wands, some type of action that they took in the past. They didn't listen to the intuition. They didn't invest in this connection with you. They listened to the wrong three of cups to three of cups to the two of cups. They listened to their friends about a soulmate connection with you. That's the 911 and friends. They listened to the wrong person about you. When it came to investing in this connection, when they should have just listened to their intuition, how you made them feel. King of Swords is clarified. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles, the death card. Somebody sees you as the Ten of Pentacles. They see a beautiful life with you. They see marriage. They see building a home with you, having children with you, um, the white fences, the dogs, you know, just growing old and great with you. But someone, um, yeah, the higher friend, somebody sees a relationship or commitment with you. Yeah, they do. And whoever was around this energy um, that knew that, um, they had negative intentions towards this connection. They knew that this person could be very prosperous and, and happy with you. It says, I don't want you to be celibate anymore or unmarried. The Ten of Pentacles to the higher friend, what is that? That is a marriage. Somebody is coming in. Yeah, they want this marriage with you. They want this commitment with you. The magician, this person, could, the magician to the higher friend. Yeah, somebody is trying to manifest some type of wish fulfillment with you. Yeah, they ain't heard me, okay? Trying to, yeah, look at you. I can't make it up. I cannot. The Empress to the Nine of Cups. Somebody sees you as wish fulfillment. They are very much attracted to you in each and every way. And somebody listen to, you know, the wrong people. Give me a card on the Ten of Pentacles. This could even be family. What's the Ten of Pentacles? Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Oh, I didn't even see these cards. And it fell out on daddy's home. The fool card, two of cups, and judgment. 
Oh, somebody made a final decision and it fell out on daddy's home. The full part, the two of the judgment. Somebody is ready to take a leap of faith on this connection. Yeah, somebody made a final judgment and it fell out on daddy's home. I'm not playing with y'all. <laughs> yeah, they want to come in and apologize to you. Okay, the devil to the four wands. <sighs> the hangman. So somebody could have been in a commitment with a karmic, a relationship with a karmic, and they had to sur surrender that. Um, it's a bird on my own. Understood. It's a um. Yeah, somebody had to let go. Somebody had to let go of a um. Somebody who they was in a karmic relationship with, and now they want to come and apologize. Queen of Swords. I feel like somebody was bitter as hell. You know. Something could have just been, you know, this could have just been someone who you just started off, you know, as being friends with. Um, or it just could have been, um, you know, with the Queen of Swords, you could have spoken some type of truth to this person. Um, maybe you've seen this person like, you've seen them clear as day and somebody, and you called them out and somebody didn't listen. What's the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles energy? I can't make it up. Spirit said that's the damn truth. Ace of Swords. What's this? Five of Cups. Somebody is in regret. This could even be somebody who they shared the family with. Um, you know, somebody you know who they was in relation with prior to you and they wanted out of it, okay? Um somebody didn't want to see somebody happy. It's like Somebody was plotting, like, I know this person going to be happy. I know they, I know something going to be very prosperous. And I'm going to see if I can, you know, um, do a spell, you know, to get this person to see this person a different way. But somebody is seeing the truth. They seeing the truth. When somebody was once stuck or still made or blinded to the situation, they see the truth. And they actually in a lot of regret with the Five of Cups being here because of some type of ending that it caused. For some of you guys, you was in a relationship, you was in a commitment with this person, and they decided to end this. And now they regret about ending this um, this commitment with you. Yeah, again, Empress, you is not playing. Empress to the shrimp court? Yeah, I feel like you kept letting this person back in, and the same thing kept happening over and over. So you just you decided to stay in your, your you know stay in your ground. You got tired of explaining yourself to this person. Not one one and friends about these friends, you know these relatives, whoever you know, and nobody they, they heard nobody who. It's like nobody wanted to listen. So so you let go. But when you let go, maybe you guys had a mutual agreement that you was going to let go of this, this connection. But you could have really let go of this connection, freed yourself. But this person never really let go of you. They just been in regret. What's the death card? King of Swords energy. We have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have the death card, Scorpio energy. We have the higher friend, Taurus energy. Something wasn't working. That's how they... Empress, you keep showing up. You're not playing. What's the death card? What's the death card? Seven of Pentacles. You decided to end this connection because you didn't see this person investing in this connection. You didn't see this person giving to you. It's like this person, they, they come in, they said they talk a good one. They care for you, they love you, they gonna give to you, they gonna be there for you. But then they'll turn around and show you something different. What's the higher friend? The higher friend? The higher friend? It's like somebody gave a, a bunch of broken promises to you. What's the higher friend? The higher friend? I keep seeing a hermit. Dealing with a Virgo. What's the higher friend? Thank you. The high friend is clarifying with the ten of swords in reverse. It's like you had to pull ten swords out your bag. Like you have, you definitely, you know, you learned some type of lesson here. You or your person, that you, um, I feel like you learned the lesson meaning to where, you know, if you don't let go of this connection, um, cause the ten of swords in the upright, that's the ultimate betrayal. Okay. The ten of swords in, in reverse is you healing from that, but that, that commitment, that relationship that you was in. 
And being that you freed yourself, somebody feel like, you know, you're living your best life. You're enjoying yourself. And somebody is like, got somebody reflecting like, damn, that person didn't deserve that. They didn't, they didn't deserve that. You healed from a horrible, horrible, painful connection, you know? And now somebody else is in regret. What's the Ten of Swords in reverse? The Shrimp card, the Ace of Cups, the em <laughs> you know what? Yeah. This person is realizing how different you are, how, yeah, Ace of Cups. I feel like whoever you are, you're very strong, you're very courageous, you're very brave. Um, you chose your soul. I feel like um, you have, it's like somebody is now all confused. It's given like the seven of cups. They all confused. Now they got these deep feelings for you, okay? Somebody was trying to convince themselves that this was not going to be what it, what, it, what it was supposed to be. It's not safe to love you, but it actually finding out the truth that it really was. You guys can have a lot of options now, okay? Or you will be. I feel like with the tennis swords in reverse, you know, you you clear somebody out your system. Now you got new love uh, coming in. The Empress, you know, you're out here attracting beautiful energy. The Empress to the Shrimp to the Ace of Cups. But somebody else can't get you out of their system. They just, they in love with you. And they're like, I don't want you to be celibate anymore. I don't want you to be unmarried anymore. I mean, some of you guys, you could have, with the Empress to the Shrimp to the Ace of Cups, you could have walked away to new love. You're a sweetheart. What's the high friend? For some of you guys, when you see this person, you know, take things, you know, it's like if we're in a relationship, I would never lead you wrong. We a team. It's not I, it's not you, it's, it's, it's us. It's no longer I, it's, it's us. And somebody didn't listen to you. It's like somebody didn't trust you. What's the high friend? Only to realize it was safe to trust you. What's the high friend? The high friend was playing fine with the seven of swords. What's this? The forced woods. Mm. Somebody is actually, the seven of swords to the four swords. Somebody is seeing the truth. Okay, seven to four swords, yeah. Whoever this person is that causes betray you, um, or you know, somebody is realizing that, somebody is realizing the person who they listen to, um, you know, they was the reason why things ended between you guys. They're the reason why things came to rest. The seven of swords to the four swords. They're realizing that someone that they was attached to had dark intentions, negative energy, um, projecting to this connection. Ace of Swords, that's one. They're seeing the truth. They're actually seeing the truth now. Yep. This could be like somebody telling, you know, going to somebody and saying, you know, I want to marry this person. I want to be with them. I, you know, I, 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 I love them. I see them as this and this and that. And somebody like, you know, a friend is like, oh, oh my God, okay, oh my God, you're going to marry that and that. As soon as they hang up the call, this person giving them the EUI. They're giving them the EUI, like, you understand? Like, and they doing all this behind this person back. But you, you could try to warn this person, okay? Or somebody could have had seen the signs, but they was ignoring their intuition. Yeah, Knight of Swords, Three of Cups. I'm telling you, Knight of, look, Three of Cups, Knight of Swords. There was a friend, 911 and friends. There was a friend that was attacking this connection. The Sun card to the Nine of Pentacles. Possibly even attacking to the Nine, possibly even attacking you. The one who's single happy. Okay? Yeah. Queen of Swords and Queen of Pentacles. This could even be somebody's mama. Okay? An older female relative. What's the nine one one? What's the nine one one? What's the nine one one? The tower can't make it up. Ooh, seven of cups. I told you it's like somebody being confused about you, and it, it, it caused the cycle to close out when you was there. It's like somebody blocked their own goddamn happiness. It's like the angel was right here telling them, I'm telling you, I heard earlier, ooh, confirmation, being with you, angelic, help, it's like, it's a game changer. Somebody blocked their own happiness. They allowed, listening to these people, and now they want to reconcile with you, they want to come back. Somebody said, daddy's home, the fool card, 
the two of cups to the judgment, somebody made a final judgment that this is what they want and they ready to take a leap of faith. Ooh, child. What's the town? Eight of cups. This person is walking away from a friend. So this person is closing out a cycle with a friend. Somebody is realizing that they had jealous, hateful friends that didn't want to see them happy. And they're closing that cycle out. What's the this, what's this seven of cups? What was they confused about? What was they confused about, Holy Spirit? Ooh. You know what? They was confused about a friend. Somebody had a, a hidden friend that was attacking them. What's the three of cups? Three of cups? Somebody had a hidden friend that was attacking them. Attacking them in a person. What the hell? The lovers in reverse, five of wands in reverse, six of swords in reverse, the page of pentacles in reverse. Wow. Damn, my nose itching. Whoever this friend is, they didn't want this person to have no passion. Um, no, you know, they didn't want this person to have no passion, no desire for you, not be attracted to you, the lovers, not even look at you the same way. They didn't want to, they didn't want this person to um be in no union with you, be intimate with you, or nothing. Five of Wands in reverse, okay? I feel like this is somebody who's coming at us, um... This could have been somebody who dealt with, like, hard, like, just... Okay, so this is a friend, and you vented to this friend, and maybe, um, you could have been, you know, someone who went through, you know, rough patches in relationships, right? And somebody friend knew that they had the potential of a connection being very successful. Okay? Five of Wands in reverse. They could have knew that somebody was leaving. Um, do you know relations when people put them in comp competition, challenging, and all of that? Somebody knew that somebody was leaving that behind. Six of Swords in reverse. Somebody wanted to confuse someone's intuition about which way to go with the six of swords in reverse that's like like, like not getting no help no assistance not listening to your guides okay just doing what the hell you wanted to do somebody was trying to confuse someone eight of swords so they could keep them bonded and trapped to them yeah the star card to the page of cups and now somebody wants to come in and apologize because they see you as the star damn damn yeah somebody didn't want somebody to have no passion and nothing for you Somebody was literally behind the scenes doing love spells. It's like somebody was doing love spells because they, they they wanted people to break up with you. They didn't want you to be in relationships. They didn't want people to have no no want to start no nothing new with you. Um, not be passionate. Not you know um, not be into you. Thank you, spirit. Not be into you. They they didn't want. They was like mm -mm. they six of swords in reverse. They didn't want nobody. You know they didn't want relationships. Relationship that had the potential to be very prosperous. They did not want that to come into your life. There was a friend that was doing this. The hangman to the star for I'm telling you, somebody is seeing clearly now. Oh yeah. What's the um what's the temperance? Angel, angel, what's the angel? Angel. Angel is clarified with the Queen of Cups. Ace of Pentacles sticking out. Queen of Cups fell out on the floor. Cancer Price and Scorpio Energy. I'm telling you, your angel, with this angelic help, your guardian angel, okay? Somebody was, somebody literally was like, your angels wasn't playing with this energy. It was like, if you wasn't going to use your own discernment and, you know, not see that somebody was actually a gift in your life, then I'm going to just take it away. And that's what happens. Like, I'm just going to take it right away from you. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. Because, yeah, Six of Pentacles to the Three of Pentacles. What's that? Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. So you was called to pull your energy back. That's Nine of Pentacles. And free yourself. And now somebody is realizing the truth now that you've been gone. And they're reminiscing about the past. Um, how, how, um, honeymoon. I'm about to say um, Halloween. So something could be uh, important around Halloween, but honeymoon, um, somebody is reminiscing about the times that you guys shared, the good times that you guys shared together, honeymoons, holidays, you know, playfulness, the times that you guys shared, the fun times you guys shared, worth waiting for, divine timing is at work in your love life, yeah. So divine just like, you know, res you know respectfully removes you from this energy because it's like this person not going to see your worth and see that. This connection is a gift. Like this, this connection is so. This connection have the potential of being so beautiful that not only will have people that 
you know jealous of this connection, it will have people that you don't even know jealous of this connection. If you get my drift, sussies. That's how beautiful this is because you deserve love. Yeah, you deserve love. The Wheel of Fortune, something is definitely changing. Something is fated to change. That's good luck, fortune, um, good karma. Something is coming in. Somebody, somebody said, I'm taking a leap of faith. I'm going after that. Yeah, somebody ready. Somebody said, let them know daddy on. <laughs> What's this? I even see this. Six of Wands, Two of Pentacles, um, King of Pentacles. So somebody could have been very materialistic, um, big on the image, their reputation, um, you know, how people viewed them. This could have been somebody who juggled you, you know, um, pe you know, people, places, or things. They could have juggled you with any of that. Um, it's just like somebody, you know, they listen to their friend. Your friend like, you want to settle down? Uh-uh, man. Uh. And somebody had a whole gift. Somebody is realizing like, oh, hell, it's like they waking up. Yeah, because they unhappy. King of Wands. Somebody is un unhappy about some type of action that they took. What's the King of Pentacles? It's like now somebody see like King of Pentacles is playing out with the sun. They see like happiness, joy, like like nah, like somebody like nah, I don't want to be single no more. I don't want to be in these dysfunctional ass relationships. I found, I found what I want. I found the whole thing. They said I don't want you to be celibate anymore. I don't want you to be a man. That's I ain't playing with y'all. Your person said I ain't playing. I don't want you to be celibate anymore or unmarried. Somebody like nah, I'm ready to settle down. I found my happiness. I'm ready to settle down. Yeah, I can't make it up for once. I'm ready to settle down. I want relationship. Five of Pentacles? Nah. Uh-uh. Eight of Pentacles? Somebody actually feel bad. Somebody feel bad. Like, they just, just left you or or they felt like the way they did it, they, that, that wasn't the way they should have did it at all. They feel real bad. Five of Pentacles to the Eight of Pentacles. Um... I just feel like whoever this person is, they see that, um, you know, what was working for them in the past no longer works for them. So somebody is walking away with the five of pentacles and they choosing to, you know, work with, work on things with you. This is what they want. They don't want to juggle, you know, somebody don't, it's like whatever lifestyle they had before and that shit is played out. Somebody, I kept seeing the hermit card. Somebody is like, it's like somebody is, you know, they, 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 they wise, they wising up, you know, they wising up. Somebody who gained a lot of wisdom off the mistakes that they made. The chariot. Yeah. It's like something. You look at this chariot. Look at this person's eyes. Look around their eyes. Like somebody looks. Somebody tired. Look at the eyes. Can you see that, Sunday? Like somebody is. They tired. Like, yeah, I told you I kept seeing the hermit. Like somebody, they. Somebody like, nah, this ain't, this ain't what it is. This ain't what it is. The hermit, the ten of wands, yeah, this shit is too hard. Yeah. Yeah, queen of wands, four of cups, king of wands could even try to make a connection. You know, just, you know, if it was just like, you know, day and people were just sexual and passion, like, it, that's not a, that's not hitting it for this person anymore. With the hangman, like, somebody is surrendering. Like, they don't want those type of connections anymore. They don't want something that's just driven over, over passion and lust. They want marriage now okay yeah justice card page of wands yeah somebody wants to come in and balance things out they see who has good news and there is somebody that's in the background okay that's a hater because they're being left behind mm -hmm. give me a card on the sun the sun the sun card the sun card the sun card yeah, Ace of Wands in reverse. Mm. Somebody felt like they let go of something that they... It's like, if the, whatever this person was doing before with the Six of Wands, Two of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, or the Sun card, like, whatever that used to make them happy before, when they used to juggle people, um, you know, worry about, you know, their reputation, how people view them, they're not, Ace of Wands, they're not passionate about, they don't give a hell about that anymore. 
Queen of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, they look, they want to settle down. They want a wife or a husband. And they see you as that. High Priestess to the Two of Wands, somebody is making a, a, a conscious decision to, you know, move towards you and listen to their intuition. Yeah. The Moon card to the King of Cups, I feel like they ain't telling nobody about their moves either. The Queen of Cups over here on the floor. But they ain't telling nobody. They just, because they realize like, you know, every time they say something to somebody, it's like some shit don't fall through. It's like every time they open their mouth and they tell somebody, you know, things that, you know, they feel like, you know, they'll be happy for them. They don't be happy for them. They be behind the scenes trying to see how they're going to sabotage your connection for them. And that's sad. That's sad. Okay. So somebody is realizing this about the people that's around them. They don't want to see them happy. They want to see them in full connection. They want to see them unhappy. Okay. Yeah, somebody is realizing that. <clears throat> Something about divine timing. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Somebody just needed to grow up. Six of Cups. Two of Cups. Somebody who you share past life connection with. Okay, that wants to come in and reconcile with you. Yeah, the judgment to the will of fortune. Mm-hmm. Somebody made a final judgment. Okay. They're walking away from the confusion, the illusion. Yeah, they're walking away from it's like people close somebody closing out karmic cycles. They're going through a major chapter in their life. And it's causing a tower when it comes to these lovers. Okay? It's like somebody's closing out karmic cycles and they're going into something that is more beneficial, more help, helpful, and more better, you know? It's like, somebody like, uh-uh, I'm not dealing with these karmics anymore. I'm, you know, karmics, people, places, the things, whoever, we're trying to keep somebody attached to them. Like, yeah. Give me some angel messages, Holy Spirit, for the collective sun seeds. Please and thank you. Somebody wants your forgiveness, I see. Yeah, we have celebrate. It's time to celebrate. <laughs> celebrate the journey, okay? I feel like that's what you've been doing. Since you freed yourself, you know, you've been celebrating. Somebody's seeing that. I cannot make it up. Celebrate and begin it. You could be seeing zero, zero, um, zero, 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 zero. It says celebrate, begin it. A new adventure awaits. Somebody is not dealing with karmic cycles anymore. They're not dealing with karmic relationships anymore. People that want to juggle them and, and, and have them in competition. We've seen the lovers in reverse and the five of wands. People that, you know, one minute they did, next minute they not, you know, Somebody just don't, they don't got time for the conflict, drama, people putting them in competitions, um, you know, filled relationships. Somebody is closing out a major karmic cycle, okay? And you're making a lot of progress, okay? Yeah, beauty, Archangel Jophiel, this is you. This is you. This is you, Empress, with the strength card. Yes. This is you. Yes. Protection. It says protection from negativity. I know that's right. Yeah, reconsider and bless. Somebody who did not, I told you, so I, listen, in the beginning, Spirit is saying, like, listen, being with you is a great blessing. And somebody did not, they refused to see it. And now they reconsidering with the blessed God because they realized that you was the gift. Completion, congratulations on completing out a cycle, Spirit is saying. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I can't make it up. Spirit said, you have definitely ascended, Sunseeds. You have ascended. Yep. I feel like you and this person have ascended. You and this person have, you know, went through a powerful change. Congratulations for you and your person. Let's get you some. Oh, yeah, no. I said I'm going Get you a fortune cookie. <laughs> I got so many of them. And I don't I don't eat these, but I want to get them for my collective son these. It says express your thoughts. Someone wants to hear them. Wow. Mm. <laughs> express your thoughts. Someone wants to hear them. 
I don't know if you can see it fast, so Steve. Yeah, somebody about to come in and express their thoughts. Someone wants to hear them. The numbers we have is 12, 14, 15, 30, 40, 47. Express your thoughts. Someone wants to hear them. So, so I see that you've been holding back and you haven't been, you know, saying anything. Spirit is saying when this person come in, you know, express your thoughts. You know, how this person made you feel or, you know... Or how, you know, for some of you guys, you're very intuitive. You knew the energies that was up against this connection because, like I said, you know, a little while ago, not only, you know, this, this connection um, has people jealous of it, not only does this connection has people jealous of you guys coming into union, people that you know, this, this connection has the potential of having people that you don't even know jealous of it. Because that's how beautiful it is. It's like everybody wants something like this. Wow. Give me some signs for the collective. This could be your sign or their sign, okay? Take it however it's in the end. But somebody is going through a powerful awakening. Yeah, it was just, it's just the time. <clears throat> Give me, um, uh, yeah, nine, nine. Congratulations on completing out a cycle. It's just time to embrace with this judgment and will of fortune. It just, it's time to embrace a new chapter. Mm-hmm. Give me um signs on the spirit before I close this out for the beautiful collective. So I see. Please and thank you. Okay. So we have Scorpio. We have Cancer. Give me more Holy Spirit. Okay, so we have Leo. And shout out to my Leo's, happy birthday. <laughs> you know it ain't over. It ain't over, Leo. It is not over. Y'all is listening. I said the whole July, August. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. What's this, Capricorn? Okay. Happy birthday, Leo's. Happy birthday. Mm, happy birthday. Okay. And we have Pisces. So you got heavy on the water out here. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, we have Leo, and we have Capricorn. Give me one more sign, Holy Spirit. One more sign. One more sign so I can go. Okay, Spirit gave me two. So we have Libra, and we have Sagittarius, okay? And Virgo under the bottom. All right, so this could be your signs or their signs, okay? I love you guys so very much, Seth Seeds. Okay, I hope this reading gave you guys clarity on your situation. And so we get up next time. But um, Spirit is saying, when this person come in, be open to express your thoughts um, because someone actually wants to, they want to hear them, okay? They they open to listen, okay? I feel like both of you guys are going to be expressing your thoughts. Thank you, Spirit. And Tuna Tilly, I'm picking up that both of you guys are going to be expressing your thoughts, um, your feelings for each other. And I feel like now is just a time where two people are have grown and matured they realize how you know how powerful this connection is the energies that's around them that's trying to affect this connection and it's like two individuals that are grown and mature enough to sit down and have a civilized conversation and actually listen and you know um you know, not listen to just, you know, just he to hear somebody so they can shut up, but just interpret that and, and understand where the person coming from, 